Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, President William Samai Ruto was in Langata constituency to launch the proposed social housing project that is set to upgrade the slum area in Kibera Soweto East Zone B. And this is not the only area they are going to do this construction. It is going to be even in other constituencies within Nairobi County. So it's everywhere. And uh, there are youth, of course, and women who attended that event, the groundbreaking event. And this youth had a question for the president. They asked him a question, Kazi Mtaani. It means they don't have a job, and of course they are not having another means of earning, but there are people who have been part of the beneficiaries of the Uhuru Kenyatta's Kazi Mtaani. The Kazi Mtaani was started by President Uhuru Kenyatta regime. <laughs> and there are several reasons why Uhuru started the Kazi Mtaani. But the president had an answer to the youth. I wanted to listen to what William Ruto told the youth. Because according to him, he's saying that Mambo ya Kazi Mtaani haiko tena. Actually, President William Ruto has totally abolished Uhuru's Kazi Mtaani program. And according to him, he's saying that the job that is there now is the work to construct the, building, uh, the, the, the buildings. So they want to construct the houses. And this is the only place where now the youth and the women should focus to get the job. Listen to him. Najua nini mumeniambia ya kwamba munataka ile kazi ya kazi mtaani. Muni sigize. Sigize ni. Mambo ya kazi mtaani ni mambo, mambo zamani. Ile kazi mtaani ya kuokota takataka na nini na nini ya pana. Tuachana na yo. Sasa kazi itakuwa hii. Nini muna nielewa? Iyo kazi miya... Iyo, iyo, sikizeni. Iyo kazi ya mtahani. Hakuna kazi ya mtahani tena. Kazi ni hii ya kujenga manyumba hii. Na nimemuambia... <laughs> nimemuambia huyu mungwana. Wale watu wa kwanza ambao watajiriwa katika kazi hii ni watu wa hapa langata na watu wa kibra. Ndi watakuwa wa kwanza. Jambo la pili Mulikuwa munaajiriwa watu miatano kwa kila ward Sinamna hiyo? Watu miatano kwa ward Ambaye ilikuwa watu 2,500 Siyo 2,500 nyo watasaidia kujenga hii nyumba? Na tukianzisha ile eh, Soweto, B, Soweto C Tutakuwa na watu wengine elfu mbili na miatano Na tukianzisha ile Soweto D Tutakuwa na wengine elfu mbili na miatano Sasa ile mulikuwa munaniuliza kazi Sindio hiyo? Bile bile. <coughs> nasio nasio hapa peke yake tutaanzisha tutaanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba katika kila constituency hapa Nairobi pale pale makongeni pale makongeni mahali tu... actually during the campaign season William Ruto promised that he's going to make the government of hustlers. And he got a chance. He is the president as we are speaking now. But I can confirm to you, having watched William Ruto from the first day he took over office and whatever he has been doing, it is leading to one direction. And this is a confirmation here. If you think about the government of hustlers, forget about that. William Ruto has no any interest to take care of the hustlers. Ruto does not care about any poor person. And I'm going to explain to you. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so at another time. Once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who don't comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. If you are not very careful, 
you are going to buy into many lies that the president is going to talk about. When the youth asked for a job, Ruto challenged the youth that kazi ya sijui mutani hiyo tena hayiko hiyo si kukua kazi the job that they have as of now ni kazi ya construction because they are launching a new project then those people who have been getting the kazi mutani should prepare to go and eh, do the construction work maybe help up and all those things and then earn their living from there this is the truth of the matter when president uhuru kenyatta launched the kazim tan during his tenure in the office the president was not stupid he knew that there are kenyans who are so much poor outside here and they are, they are just looking for a food to man to buy food something to eat but he had a way to provide this money he decided that let me have the kazim tan program where some people will be enrolled into this program and at least earn something at least in one family if you have one person then you can feed five people that's how this job came and these people were earning was it after every two weeks every two weeks they were getting something this was just a way to reach out to the poor not really providing the job it was not an employment but just a way of reaching out to the poor and again in one way or another just try to do something so that it will not be seen as a handout he, the president did not want this thing to come out as a handout but reaching out to the youth so that he can reduce the issue of magaidi na uhalifu because when people have nothing to eat they will be forced to start robbery to get something to eat this job was everywhere in every county paka kule kwa kijiji kwetu i have been seeing youth and the women doing this job at least to get something so this was just a way to help a poor person in as much this was happening uhuru was running the social housing project not long, long ago it was just last week when we saw the president going to launch the the construction there was house unit house unit that was complete the job was done by uhuru kenyatta but because he was leaving office he could not go and launch aliacha yule mwenye anakuja aanza na hizo so the house unit that william ruto launched last week in nairobi were done by uhuru kenyatta but beside this one there was kazim tan the issue of house unit started a long time ago the upgrade has been going on but kazim tan was there so ruto should not cheat anyone that he is removing kazim tan but he's bringing the social house project for people now to enroll for the job this job was there ile kitu ruto amefanya ametoa tu chakula kwa mdomo ya hasla amemwacha njaa because we had those people who could do this other manual job the house units and all those things they were earning from that but again kazim tan was going the also going on because the kazim tan could not employ everyone in as much house unit was also providing job but kazim tan was also there to cushion some other people sasa our mama wenye wako na watoto wadogo we know these people are not working wana tuna fika fika kidogo umepima mahali masai kifika unaenda but you earn something at the end of the day hawa wa mama watafanya hiyo kazi ya mjengo we have a very clever president but he is ready to cheat and leave kenyans hungry if this is the direction we are going to take then the issue of robbery is going to come back mambo ya watu kibia wengine snatching of phones and what what it had reduced it used in a very immense way but this thing might come back
Australia will be back. Because the life is expensive, we cannot, and then we have a president here who is even removing the other option that was helping Kenyans to earn something to put food on the table. Ruto has formed a government that is taking care of the interest of rich people. But he has no plan to cushion the poor of the poorest. The only person who had that plan, it was Uhuru Kenyatta. Another person, sorry for that, another person who had another plan to cushion the poor of the poorest, it was Raila was coming with Baba Care. Ruto, Amewangia Mamba a hustler fund, but it's just like another fund that we were having before, youth fund, women fund, enterprise fund, those ones. We had all these things. And you see, it's convincing the youth. They are clapping. But he has denied them an option, opportunity that was there. And they've been earning from that. Ame wanyanganya hivo. As simple as that. Mamba ya kujenga manyumba zilikuweko. But kazi mutani ilikuwa inaendelea. I've been seeing the youth and women in my village doing this job. What will they do? We are launching houses in Nairobi. Watoke kule vijijini wakuja Nairobi na wataishi wapi. What about the people in Kakamega, Kisumu, Rukana, Uko, Kuingine? Because these jobs were everywhere. So, the person who is here to torment the hustler and the poor, it is none other than William Samway Ruto. I don't know your view, but you can convince me in the comment section. If Ruto is cushioning the poor and bringing in more jobs. Thank you.